Good evening, people. <laughs> I figured why not actually just come on here because I'm just waiting for Heidi to send me the very important text of like, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to walk. <laughs> evening walk is happening. If you want to know what shenanigans we did in the forest yesterday, tune into the vlog. <laughs> we went to the forest pretty late because that uh, Heidi is like golfing <laughs> so it was a very late a very late uh, evening walk but we did something in the forest <laughs> no <laughs> so what is it that I want with you today this evening well I want to just shuffle some <laughs> cards and see what's coming up, whatever. I mean, there's always a reason for something to come up when I do these, like, pop-up evening readings. Eventually, you guys already have got uh, gotten um, some kind of magic. Is that going to be long? It's not. So, spirit, you clearly have, you clearly have, yeah, you have something to say. Maybe spirit has something to say that's connected with today. I mean... Just you wait for tomorrow. Wow. Wow. That's all I have to say. The way that that first card came out, right? That was like... Ugh! And then another card came out. <laughs> that is tomorrow. <laughs> Just prepare yourself, people. I don't know why. There might be something that already happens today. When you watch this. What is the uh, message there? The energy? That's a hell of a lot of a card, but someone definitely has a lot to say here. The first card I see is forgiveness, ideas and inspiration, abundance, new beginning, beginnings, um, manifestation. You're manifesting and blessing. But some of you guys, there might be something with forgiveness. Forgiveness. Okay, this is going to be short. Shorty. <laughs> what do I want to take? Should we take the Titanic? The Titanic deck? We haven't used it for a while. The, the tarot deck that actually, like, it got pulled back, right? And then he created a new one. It's because of Kiri that I have this. So this is a... Well, I don't know how many got that printed, but... If you have the new Titanic uh, deck, let me know. Judgment, we actually spoke about that in the Symbols and Signs. Also, it's such a sad magician. What is it? Well, it's definitely something about a huge awakening is happening. Um, so, we got, that's going to be a big sign. Transformation, awakening, it's happening. Some of you guys are like, well, I'm fine. I'm fine, nothing significant is happening. Oh, this way. This way. You are jumping into a new circle in your life. By the way, blue was also one of the signs we spoke about. But I think that was in the last Symbols and Sign videos. The devil! The devil is going to come up tomorrow. But also... Oh, oh you see it's Capricorn, right? Judgment, is that uh, Mercury retrograde? I can't remember it. Ooh, look how beautiful she is. Queen of Cups. <gasps> Who doesn't want to fall in love with her? Look at that. Maybe someone is falling in love with you, but it's clearly someone who's a little bit afraid with the... Uh, what is that? Nine of Wands? Is that true? I think so. Is this awakening in love? In a relationship? <laughs> Could be a past life relationship. Especially with the devil. But what I wanted to say with the devil, if I did... <laughs> did I already say that? Um. Capricorn, the full moon in Capricorn. I feel it has something to do with that. Something is being cut out. What else do we need to know here? 
the magician and the ace of swords well that is uh, definitely a um, confirmation here a confirmation that you are manifesting something new with this uh, capricorn full moon because that is definitely how i am going to see the devil card obviously there might be something with addictions we have xxx with that the energy that comes through is a truth coming out i mean there is something about forgiveness here right but forgiveness turns to blessings and it turns to abundance maybe you are connected with someone you have um um what do you call that well yeah ideas and inspiration we have new beginnings maybe you're dealing if this is love if you are in a relationship or not it can be something that's being activated you're going to work with this person whoever you are dealing with it's definitely someone who wants to work with you someone who has a lot of ideas ideas and inspiration it's manifestation they might have been heard the seer what is the seer again oh that's the high priestess Ooh. um yeah it might be someone that feels like they need forgiveness in a way i wonder if they are a little bit afraid of you <laughs> why i didn't want to make this too long so make this very 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 loud and clear manifesting something the fool yeah well there you go clear action 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 people what card are you going to choose if you have oracles or or oracles definitely definitely <laughs> if you have oracles it's terrible pull a card for yourself i would Ace of Coins. Whatever this is, it's a brand new beginning, and it's uh, it's quite a it's quite an offer that's coming your way, because that there is healing of the past and healing of addiction. So if it's a new person, it's someone who's going to help you with your addictions. That could actually be. And even if we have a Queen of Cups, it just means that you might just carry this energy of nurturing. A nurturing queen or a nurturing male a nurturing female like whoever this is that you're dealing with see you as very nurturing and loving yeah very protected very psychic also with the high priestess i don't know why i put her away again <laughs> i know i said that was the last card but I feel whoever you're dealing with is someone who doesn't want to make the, the wrong move. Like it's someone who's manifesting you, manifesting a move or manifesting communication or forgiveness or whatever in a very strategic way. It's like, ah, not yet. Oh, not, not like that. <laughs> not those words. <laughs> yeah, saying that while we have two of uh, swords. They really don't want to come over in the wrong way to you. So they are considering this quite... That's the word. I didn't want to say that because that, was, that sounds so wrong. Quite slowly. <laughs> but if they're, they're, they're thinking about it quite like... <laughs> like this is important, okay? <laughs> this is very important. <laughs> They want to do it the right way with you, male or female, it doesn't matter, people. Yeah, definitely. Oh, it's someone who wants to come uh, towards you. It's someone who's manifesting you. Big time manifestation here. I'm assuming guys, you know this person for others you don't, but there will be communication. There will be healing. It will be a new beginning if it's a new person or not you know that okay wow well, maybe there's something about songs and music the wheel of fortune if you have seen the signs and symbols you know this is a big sign big sign big sign for dating big sign for everything it's someone who is very passionate about you but also someone who might have had the time of retreating 
11 that's my cue for leaving <laughs> thank you guys for this well this is a love message for someone that is for sure it's someone from the past with the wheel of fortune if it's not someone from the past if you're like sandra i want to manifest new love then it's destined love <laughs> Let me tell you, it might be some, someone from a past life. If that is the case, if you haven't already gone through something transformative and healing with this person, just be aware that if it's a brand new person, there might be a separation at some point. <laughs> because that it does feel like um, a big healing, past life healing. If it's someone from the past and you are in a separation, well, you definitely have done a good job of healing that if it's someone who's coming back. Okay? Poi poi. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.